Okay, uh, welcome everyone to another one of my tutorials. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a Photoshop tutorial. And I was asked to do a short, uh, small favor. I found on Google+. Plus. <clears throat> he had some photos. He wanted the range in uh, what we call a 4-up in Hunters, or a quad. And uh, he emailed me the four photos, and they had different sizes. So I had to uh, solve this problem. And, uh, and make each photo the same size and fit them in a nice and quad. So anyway, we'll get started right off. I'll show you how I went about this. Okay, I've got I downloaded the attachments in a Google Mail, and I've got that on my desktop. And we're going to use a function in uh, Photoshop. It's under the scripts. It's called Load Files in the Stack. And then I'm going to browse for this folder, and it's these four images here. Control A, uh, click in there. Control A. That will select them all, and then it will load them into a stack. And you will see, let it finish here. All right, so I'm going to tap B, which will take me to my pointer. And then we're going to hit F7, and I'll show you what's going on here. So we've got these images, this top image, this dolly long image. It is... 800 well our our biggest our, our biggest photo is 800 by 533 so we want to take all these photos and size them up to 800 by 533 but to make our quad we need to double the width and the height and so what we're going to do is we're going to resize the canvas and we are going to call it, we're going to go 1600. And that's going to be 1066. Yes. 66. That'll be double that. So that's going to pull it out from the center. That's okay. So anyway, so now we've got room to put all of these on the same, uh, same document or same canvas here. We're going to move this first one up here. And you might want to have on snap to document bounds and let's see uh, well snap to layers too so we're going to move this first photo up here and it's going to go in the corner now there wasn't any particular order stated for the photographs he just simply wanted them into a uh, quad so we'll just uh, hide the rest of these for now we've got the small photo here and we'll move this over. We'll move it over to the corner. And we'll just pull it down by the diagonal. Hit enter to apply. So now we will just move this layer up. So now we've got this photo in place. So we'll hide this, uh, these two temporarily. Actually, what you can do if you want, you can put some guidelines in there. But I'm just going to, we're just going to go along here with what we're doing here. Actually, let's snap a guy in, just to keep things on track. It's going to be right at 800. And our other guy, as you can see in the little black marquee there, it can show you where you're at. So now we've got some guidelines in here. Let's see if we make sure this was in 800. Okay, snap right to 800. So we'll go back and we'll, we'll open these up. And then we'll select this photo. So we'll just, whoop, wrong one. Good thing he snapped. We'll select this uh, Dawkins Priest photo. And we'll pull it down here to the corner. We'll grab the diagonal um, transformation uh, edge, or block, whatever you want to call it. Enter. And now we got this last photo. It's one with Hitler and uh, a Pope, I guess, of some sort. And we'll yank, whoop, wrong one. We'll select the Hitler Cardinal and drag it down and pull it up to it snaps. And there we go. So that's how I solved that particular problem. Now, what he wanted to do, he wanted to put a text layer on it, but he hadn't decided what text he wanted to put with the image. Looks like we got one a little crooked here. There we go. Maybe we can tap it down there with the arrow keys. Hit enter again. So we got everybody uh, planted firmly and uh, nicely laid out there. And of course, he's going to get back with me and tell me the text. 
And what I've done, I've already saved this file. We'll save it again. We'll do a save as. And I believe I put it here in Nate's quad picture. We'll just save that and replace it. Like so. And anyway, so uh, that's how I solved that little problem. And I hope this is, you found this helpful. Of course, uh, what I did, I did follow up and save it for web. But you understand, I saved it as a PNG and uh, emailed it back to him. And he's going to get back with, back with me to put the text on it. So this has just been a short little helpful video. video how I solved a particular problem for maybe a potential client. So thanks for watching my videos, and I'm out of here. All right.